your hooks there. Turn, turn in, turn, turn into the hooks. Uh, hip in, shoulder in. Uh, Andy, I came down here two years ago, I think it was, and uh, I thought it was pretty amazing what you'd done then because you'd got to. Uh, Six uh, Northwest Regional Champions. Yeah. On the bows, you've done it the year before, you've done it uh, the year I came down and, and spoke to you. You also then took three of those lads on to National Champions. Yeah. Uh, for some reason, I, I lost touch in 2017 and I didn't manage to follow the uh, the Miners and Schoolboys, but again, you had another successful year. Yeah. But this year, you've outdone everything nine Northwest Regional Champions and five National Champions. Yeah, they've done, they've done really well this year, the other kids. But like, like I said, each year they're improving, which as a coach you hope they would. You know you're doing something right. And on the final, I just, I just sat there and I, even, even Jack, who didn't win, I was so proud of the six just sat there and watching what we're putting in the gym over the months. And on the day they put it into practice and it, and it worked. And the season's not finished for you yet because no. uh, you've got uh, a couple of box cups you're going to and you've got a lot of the lads who've won the finals uh, involved in the uh, Tri Nations. Yeah, I mean, for us, our club is basically it's a young club, uh, a lot of schoolboys, a couple going into the juniors now, so this is the busiest time of the year for us. The schoolboy nationals, the minors. When you say young club, it, it's ridiculously young, it's four years old, as, a, as an amateur club anyway. Yeah, this, 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 I mean this is our fourth season now, so yeah, a lot of these kids have been with us from day one, so we're lucky enough to have to be able to gel them into a team and, and work a lot with them and they've stayed the journey and they're reaping the rewards for staying the journey. Well, I think we just said before, added them all up, that's 12 national champions in four years. Yeah, 12, yeah, they've done well, yeah. <laughs> Throw a couple of European medals in there and box cups and that and they are, they're doing really well, really happy for them. Fortunately, your son's not down here today, but I came down, uh, I think it was at Christmas time, where he should have been boxing against uh, USA. Yes. But I filmed him against uh, Scotland, where he won. Yeah. Um, he, he's, he's doing really well, isn't he? He's doing good, yeah, he's in the box cup next week as well. Um, and then obviously the it's this year's his first year for the NABC, so that'll be starting as well, October time. Yeah, so we've got Jack Tadak here. Jack, um, he was one of the six that got to the finals. Fortunately, Jack was the one who, who lost out. Very close bout, good bout against a very good kid. Um, so next for Jack, next week we've got the same as last year. We went to the hall in Monkstown, he went on and, and got the gold on them. So hopefully this year he redeems himself again. I'm sure he will, won't he, Jack? Yeah. How old are you now, Jack? 14. 14. And what are you hoping for then this season? You go to Monkstown and win gold? Yeah, win gold at Hull and Monkstown. Tom, Sharp Sounds first champion. Yeah, yeah. Talking to one of the newest champions in uh, Frank there. And <laughs> Frank, three times Northwest champion, two times national champion, multi cup winners. That's me. <laughs> what have you won? Denmark Box Cup in my first fight. I won Hull Box Cup, Monkstown Box Cup, three time Northwest champion, and two time national champion. So it's not done too bad. No, but it's you, all right. you started leading the way there, Tom, didn't you? So now you, sorry. you, 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 you won a first time, first national champion. Yeah, 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 yeah. First uh, national champ. Uh, no, I done the region, won yeah. the region, got to the semis of the nationals. Uh, that was when I was 15. Been here since I was nine. With Andy since I was nine. And then, well, how old are you now, Tom? Nineteen. Just turned twenty actually yesterday. And so, have you hung up the gloves or? Uh, I don't know. For the time being, we'll see how it goes. And Frank, what have you got coming up next? Uh, I've got Box Cup on Friday. Have you got multi nations as well? Yeah, then I've got Monk's Town and then I've got the Free Nations. So you're not busy then? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not busy. Yeah. Are you going to be the next world champion? Yeah. Without doubt? Without a doubt. Yeah, he's here for the long run, this lad. Come <laughs> on. 
Uh, Andy, Hello. another one of your champions? Yeah, this is young John Tom Berry. Um, again, there's, there's three brothers like the Birchills. John Tom's the middle one, and he won, he won his minor's national title last week. And how many fights is, did that entail in? He's had eight, eight now, eight yeah. fights, yeah. And he's been beaten in eight fights? Yeah, he's won all his eight fights. John Tom, do you enjoy it? Yeah, I enjoy it. You like being part of a fighting family? Yep. Yeah. You're going to live up to your brother's expectations, because your brother's doing really well now, isn't he? Yeah, he is. He just won the schoolboy championships. Is that what you hope to do eventually yourself? Yeah. yeah sure we're going to keep all these in here and you're all going to go and win eventually senior national titles? Hopefully. <laughs> He's going the long journey this one, aren't you? He's yeah. staying it. He's staying the long way. Coaching the boys boxing, we educate the boys as well and, and I try and drill into him. It's a very, it's a hard journey to stay. And the ones that do stay the journey, the ones that make it, but there's not many that do. There's a lot of distractions and it's very hard for a kid to stay on that straight and narrow once the 15, 16, 17 year old. So this, this team of Adley, we've had, like I said, for a good three, four years. So hopefully they'll stay together and, and stay the journey. Yeah, the, uh, the Nelson Birchill, he's the middle one, we've got, we've got three brothers, William was our first champion, um, and then this year we've got Nelson and his young brother Leighton as well, Nelson won the Class B's, Class B's. And he's yeah. also just started a, a role hasn't he now, because his, his record wasn't brilliant at the beginning was it, but no. you persisted with it. 50-50 and record, and then and not no I've more. my last 13 now, 13. And that being one of them being a, a national final. Yeah, thank God. Yeah. <laughs> he's never give up, Lee, this one. He's had, um, he's, he's had it hard, haven't you? Yeah. He's never give up and he's, he's, he's always in the gym, always training, every day, can't get rid of him. And he's one of the kids that you're taking down to this Monkstown Box Cup again? Hull and Monkstown, yeah, so we're looking for a repeat of last year. Nelson got the gold. Uh, last year we received the, the Best Club Award, which was fantastic for us, and Nelson was one of the team that got us that. <laughs> Do you want to jump on there, Lane? Like, you won't fall, will you? Make me look tall. You alright? Yeah. Andy, this uh, is the youngest of the three uh, virtual brothers. Yes, this is the youngest, and the youngest, well, actually, fighting in the gym at the moment, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, this is Leighton Virtual, the youngest of the three. And another national champion. This is one of the five, yes. Leighton won his, his national minors title last week, didn't you? Yeah. In style, is it? Huh? In style? Yeah. <laughs> and how are you finding it? Because it's your first year as a uh, as an amateur boxer. Yeah. Enjoying it? Yeah. Was it a natural progression for you because of your brothers? Were you forced into this? No, I just wanted to do it. Yeah. Have you been in the gym training with them before yeah. you were allowed to fight? Yeah. He's never out the gym. He's um, this this couldn't have come quick enough for him. I think every day. And when can I fight? When can I fight? Is one of these. He's really. Really keen, as you expect coming from, from Brothers Who Box. Yeah. yeah. Well, your big brother's like, he, he's been away for a while, hasn't he? Yeah. 15 months since he yeah. last boxed. Yeah, William, he's done well, and um, fortunately, he's now on the road working. Do you think you'll manage to get him back to the gym? He's been, but he comes over, he ticks over, but. Well, he's here before, wasn't he? Wasn't yeah, I just think that desire and that hard work and the diet, and I, once you've been out that long, Lee. If you leave it too long, it's hard to go back. I that's, think yeah. that's not going to miss you for you, is it? Oh. I think you're going to learn from it, aren't you? You aren't going to go anywhere, are you? No. Nah. You're going to, you're going to be a multi-champion, like some of the other lads in the gym, like Jake. I hope so. Yeah? I hope so. He will, I'm sure he will. <laughs> Set him up. Set him up. Tap, 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 bam, bam. <laughs> Andy, and another national champion again. And this is our final one from this season. This is Levi Barnes. He won the, the Class B at 44 and a half kilo. But he came to you from um, Johnny yeah. Roy's team. From Johnny Roy, yeah, from MTK. Um, Johnny, not many coaches do what Johnny did. Johnny phoned me up and says, Andy, 
I'm sending Levi to you if you've got space for him. I think the lads that you got there for your sparring is going to be better for Levi. And it just proves what a good coach he was because it's won the national title. And how are you finding it now, Levi, down here? I think the sparring is a lot, a lot, uh, a lot better and stuff like that. It's been proved a lot. Andy, obviously all the kids you got here are, are, are a bit special. Most of them, like I say, are at least won a, a North West Regional title. But this kid is one of the ones that you're tipping for big things in the future. Definitely, definitely. It's young, young Thomas Ferry, yeah. He's um you've only a region twice, haven't you? Yeah. And he's built he's had twenty fights, he's lost two, the two he lost to were in the nationals. Um he's redeemed one of them and again last year when he lost he he, he boxed the actual winner, the minors champion, and beat him as well, didn't you? So he's lost two bouts. Close, and, very and close. Not bouts. one of the very brothers, but uh, cousin is it? Cousin, second cousin, yeah. Yeah, yes. So definitely I'm, I'm a massive fighting family then. Oh there. Yeah, without a doubt. And what are you hoping for, Tom? When NAS school boys next year. What have you got coming up though? Uh whole box cup. Whole box cup and then Monkstown, 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 which he won last year, straight after. He won the whole box cup straight after his nationals last year and the Monkstown. So he's hoping from his low he comes brings himself up to a high again like he did last season. Are you from the car Kirby ABC. Kirby ABC. Come down for some sparring. Yeah. Good lad. An amazing job you've been doing here, Andy. I know uh, it's not just you, I know you've got Tom Scott uh, here, which yeah. is up to the kid, uh, Tom Kidd, is it? Yeah. Uh, he yeah. was your first champion as well, wasn't he? Tom, Tom Kidd, yeah, no, first season he reached the uh, national youth stages um, in his first few fights, so, you know, our expe expectations are quite high from the start. And they've not, they've not, you know, they've, they've done it. The kids year in, year out. So hopefully, it, it'll continue to, to to progress like they are doing. All right, well, I, I I love coming down here. I love following the journey. And uh, like I say I'm sure there's a few of these kids here that are going to be future stars. Fingers crossed, Lee. If they stay the journey, I'm sure they will. All right, Andy. Take care, mate. Bye Cheers, bye. Lee. Thank you. It's not a photo. It's a video. This one. <laughs>